Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Uh, I'm over here. A friend of mine's house right now. Um, doing some cardio in their basement. Doing a little bit of training. Um, so, I want to talk to you guys about Hollywood. Um, I know I've posted videos several times. We got new people starting. Um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm trying to lean out a little bit. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen as far as my show goes, guys. I really don't. I, there's something in the back of my mind that tells me, man, loud California get on stage. I don't know. Um, right now, though, I just took a little short break. Um, I got about 18 minutes in, guys. Uh, or no, I got I got about 30 minutes in on the electrical. Um, I got this thing from Carrie, guys. And you guys are familiar with her. Uh, so, real quick, um, you guys can hear me. Um, I want to talk about Hollywood. Had somebody make another comment about uh, the dark glasses. Uh, they call me Hollywood, obviously, because of dark glasses. Uh, these are safety glasses, guys. These are Nemesis safety glasses. Uh, so, anybody, any of you guys been with me from the beginning, which I know a lot of you guys and gals have not been with me from the very beginning. The reason behind the name Hollywood uh, yes, I was in an orphanage actually whenever I was uh, 13. Uh, I just started weight training with a guy. Uh, they call him Rod the Bob. Okay, so if anybody knows Rod, uh, he went to Louisiana Tech. He was in the Omega fraternity. He was a power lifter. He was a football player. He was from Shreveport, like me. Uh, grew up on Cooper Road. Uh, and I grew up in North Shreveport, but uh, he was a counselor at the orphanage when I was there in the summer of 87, 88, maybe. Uh, and I started training, that's when I first started training, seriously. I was like 13 years old. Um, and this guy was training me. He was kind of like my idol. He, was, he had been a power lifter, uh, but he was a football player who got hurt turned into a power lifter and competed in the NCAA in power lifting for Louisiana Tech. Okay, and I think he went to Grambling some too. Um, so if there's any uh, Omega alumni out there from Louisiana or Louisiana, uh, pronounced correctly, uh, please let him know what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, share the channel with him. So, uh, so one night he was doing dumbbells at the college gym, old style style dumbbells back in the day. You know they broke on him, and they all fell in his eyes. Uh, all the metal shaking's got in his eyes. Messed his eyes up for a couple of days. So he shows up you know, with some eye patches on and stuff, wearing the dark sunglasses. This guy's my eye, man. I'm 13 years old. Man. I mean, he's wearing dark safety glasses. You gotta protect your eyes. You only got two of them, right? So, um, you know, plus, you know, his eyes might have been a little light sensitive. So uh, that's where that, where it took off, guys. And I've always done it. I'm always doing it in the gym. Uh, guys, if I'm really looking at some guys and girls, if I'm really looking at something that I need to see in the gym, uh, something that's nice to look at, uh, I'm gonna take the glasses off, so don't worry. <laughs> They're for protection, okay? Um, old Rod always told me I only had two of them, so I better protect them. Anyway, that's where Hollywood comes from, the name Hollywood, and that's where I wear the shades I'm working out the gym I'm trying to lean out guys um, uh, let it go too long so uh, 
hey man, we're here, right? Plan didn't work out according to plan. Had some things come up. There's new business owners and new businesses too have come up. Things didn't go exactly to plan, which means they went exactly this way, right? I'm loving it. I love every minute, every moment of my day, every day. I love this life. And I encourage you guys to stay in the moment, give gratitude. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for commenting um, and critiquing. Please like, subscribe, and share it.